So right now we're working on a travertine floor and where we're at is we're in the stage of post uh, construction um, cleanup. It's a new homeowner uh, to this home and she's getting everything spruced up and cleaned up and ready to move everything in. So what you'll see back here is you'll see the technicians. What they're doing is they're going around scraping off all of the dry grout that was left on the tiles. So what ended up happening and what we end up discovering and a lot of the services that we do, we end up discovering them as we're doing the process and the service is that this floor was treated three ways. At the time of installation, many, many years ago, before this customer even moved in, tile was installed, grout was installed, no problems. Sometime down the line, fast forward so many years, at some point in time, somebody came and did an epoxy color seal on these grout lines. I'll show you what an epoxy color seal does, kind of tell you what it's supposed to do and why you would want to perhaps apply it, but then also kind of give you the pros and cons and the things that come with it if you end up having it done. And then the third thing that was done is that somebody came and skim coated grout over the epoxy color seal that was applied in between times. So now we've had an originally installed grouted tile. Then we had a color seal tile. Then we had a skim grouted uh, color sealed uh, grout, grout lines. So let me show you what the pros and cons of that is now. So right over here during our cleaning process, we have discovered this area right over here. And what I wanna illustrate is that when you look at this area from afar, right? This actually looks dirty, clean, dirty. As we get even closer, and we shine the light on this. Let's take a look at what we have. That might be a little bright. Let me dim that down a little bit. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so a few things that's going on here. Take that light, light out the way. Right here, this colorant, with this light, you could see that there is some striations that go left and right. Let's see if I can get that in the camera, bam. Okay, so you see how those striations kind of go left and right? That implies that this was applied and then rubbed across so that it adhered to the grout that was beneath it. But now, as we come and we take a look, look at this. You see how I am easily, and I wanna point that out, easily. I am easily removing grout and exposing that color seal underneath. So why is this so, why does this happen? First, let's talk about the objectives. Um, at the time of installation, everything is brand new. Brand new tile, brand new grout, go ahead and install it, apply it, mortar it, grout it, seal it, let it dry, you're good to go. Sometime down the line, grout lines get dirty. When they get dirty, you have options. The options at the time of, of it being dirty are clean it and seal it with a clear impregnating sealer. You can clean it and then color seal it um, or you could just clean it and not worry about sealing it whatsoever. So what's the difference in sealers? And that definitely goes down a tremendous rabbit hole of what this sealer does, what that sealer does, what sealers expected to do and how sealers, it, there's a ton out there. And that word sealer is like a time bomb um, ready to go off depending on the setting of the, or the people that you're around having the conversation. But basically in short, what a sealer does is a sealer prevents absorption of. The question is to what level of absorption does it prevent from happening and what kind of sealer gets applied onto what type of surface and for what reason. So generally speaking, the reason why anybody would want to color seal their grout lines is because they're looking for uniformity in color. That is one of the beautiful, beautiful benefits of using color seal. There's a lot more benefits as, as far as color seal goes. Color seal um, uh, prevents uh, bacteria buildup, prevents mold, prevents staining. Um, when you have a color seal, it makes it very easy to clean. You can spray a neutral cleaner on the grout lines, wipe it off with a towel and comes out super, super nice and super clean. But then again, all of that really depends on application. So 
again, going back to the reason why somebody would want a color seal is for uniformity in color, right? So now, in this particular house, grout was installed. Fast forward down the line, somebody came and had this floor color sealed. Fast forward down the line, now people are asking, the grout lines don't look that great, what can we do? Now they are sold a skim coating process. And what's skim coating? Exactly that. Mix your grout, make it a little extra wet so it's a little bit more pliable, a little thinner. Spread it across all the grout lines, it goes into the grout lines, sits on top, and then dries. But the problem is if you skim coat on top of a color seal, remember, color seal prevents absorption. Grout is dependent on the ability to absorb, to grip, and to hang on. So earlier when I showed you how easily the grout was coming off, it was coming off easily because it wasn't gripping onto anything. It was just sitting there dry. And then now when we come and we clean, we're kind of loosening it up a little bit and then now it removes. So what ends up happening, when you look at the floor, it looks dirty, clean, dirty. And we now know that that is definitely not the case. You have skim coated grout that came off of color seal that was applied on top of grout. And these are the results. So what would you do and how can you fix this and how, how can you correct this? The only way to correct this is to kind of mask it. And at this point, your only option is to re-skim coat the areas where the skim coat came off purely for aesthetic purposes. Nothing else, no longevity, it's not gonna um, stay in place, it's going to rub off, especially in the areas where you have a lot of um, traffic. So now let's talk about traffic and how does that affect a skim-coated, grouted grout line that was previously covered. And again, everything boils down to layout of the house. So here we are in this home. When people walk down, they're immediately gonna walk down these steps onto here. So this is gonna be one definite area where that skim coat is going to start coming off as soon as it starts seeing a lot of traffic. From here, you have the option. You can go towards the bar. You can go towards the family sitting area over here by the fireplace. You can go towards the uh, theater area over there. Or you can go towards the pool table in this area. So you can already see that all of that as you come down is gonna be gonna create a traffic lane. So the areas that are more susceptible to removal of grout is this area here, this area here. So we walk towards this area here and between these two pillars is like a perfect, um, uh, 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 it's like a perfect invite to walk straight this way or you come down this area here. Now here we are around the pool table. Around the pool table, people walk around the table. So all of these are going to be high traffic areas where there's going to be more removal of the skim coated grout that we have identified here. So then once all that happens and once traffic lane has kind of taken its toll and there's been some peeling in a lot of other areas, like I said again, there's only one option and the option is to re-skim coat it hoping that you have the same color because now you got to deal with color matching. And a rule of thumb is that even if you have the exact same grout, exact same brand, you know, exact same lot, no new grout will ever, ever, ever look like old grout. So what could end up happening in an area like this, if you got to refill it, is that now you're going to have two different grout colors, even though it's the exact same grout color, kind of scattered throughout. So those are kind of the things to take into consideration when deciding whether you're going to go with the color seal, skim coat, skim grout, what's dirty, what's not dirty. Again, it always starts with identifying what you're working on and then choosing the best course of action to provide you longevity on how you are going to function in this house. So, you know, again, if somebody was to ask me, well, what would you do to prevent um, the grout peeling from occurring? Well, there's really no prevention of the grout peeling from occurring, but you can slow down the process. And in a house like this, I would say, um, try to walk in slippers, socks, you know, things that aren't going to act like, um, like sandpaper. So if you have your shoe, right, and you're coming down here with shoes, inside, outside, it picks up dirt. When that dirt is attached to the bottom of your, of your shoe, and now you're walking on a soft, polished, travertine tile floor with skim-coated grout on top of color seal, you can see how the dirt underneath your shoes 
works like sandpaper and it'll begin to dwindle away sealer sheen it'll start rubbing off some of the grout lines and all of this is going to occur in the traffic patterns and in the traffic lanes before anywhere else so hopefully this video was helpful hopefully you were able to get some tidbits and makes you look a little bit closer to your grout lines before you think it's dirty so with that being said hopefully this video was helpful please like subscribe give us a call if we can be a part of your project thank you